Friday, I guess it was. I swear my days are running together. Um, I started reading um, The Power of Positive Thinking by Dr. Norman Vincent Peale. And that is a book that I've heard a lot of motiva motivational speakers uh, recommend. I didn't get to work on my book yesterday and I had planned on working on it. And 
didn't get to. But there will be every excuse and every reason in the world to not do what you need to be doing. You know, there will be a million different things come up, a million different ideas. But the point of the video, now that we went around the world 500 times, is there was a part, there are so many good parts just in the first chapter, <laughs> but there was a part that mentioned distorting, and it's like a light bulb in my head just went off. When we allow doubts and fears and negativity to cloud our mind, it distorts our reality. It distorts, you know, it changes our perception. And truly, I'm 100% believe wholeheartedly that we speak things into existence. You don't have to believe that, that's fine, you know, but I'm living proof. <laughs> like, we speak things into existence. So, when you are focusing on negativity and you are scared of everything and you're just like, I mean, with anything, you know, you're terrified of this or you're terrified of that. You turn into a magnet and literally draw that to you. Like, let's say for an example, um, like you're scared you're going to lose something. Okay? You end up losing it because you freak out and you start trying to hold on way too tight and stuff, stuff like that. You lose it. And then... Let's say that you're scared to death that your girlfriend's going to cheat on you. You know, or you're scared to death your boyfriend's going to cheat on you. You will start treating them like they're cheating on you. And guess what? They're going to get tired of it and they're going to leave. Or they're going to cheat on you because they're going to think, well, they think I am anyway. You know, so when you let fear and doubt and negativity control your mind, then... You're bringing that negativity on you. Just like I've mentioned before, one of my mentors back when I worked in network marketing, she said, negative out, negative in. You want to spout negativity all the time. You want to have uh, negative thoughts all the time. And yes, we do have some control of that. You have to like reprogram your mind. But... You want to have those negative thoughts all the time. You don't want to be in control. You don't want to stop them. You don't want to work toward not having those thoughts. You're going to bring that negativity onto yourself. And when you let fear rule your life, that's what it's going to be. You know, you're going to be scared all the time and you're going to bring that onto yourself. It's literally like you're speaking it into existence. And something that I really loved that um, in this book that Dr. Norman Vincent Bill pointed out is figuring out why you think the way that you do. You know, why you have the fears and things like you do. Okay. I, yesterday, was actually thinking about like I was battling some negativity yesterday and that's why I don't it doesn't do me good to be at the house to be by myself because that's like the quickest way to get me depressed like I need to be busy I need to be productive I need to be doing something and I believe a lot of people don't understand that's why you're so depressed, that's why you're so anxious, is because you're not being productive. You cannot sit and watch television all the time or play video games all the time or not be producing anything and not be depressed. Like, we are supposed to be productive. 
productive. We're supposed to be um, doing something, giving back to humanity and to the world in some sort of way. We're supposed to be using our talent. Okay? And I was thinking about it, and I was like, you know, I was thinking about the book and how I'd read that chapter, and I was thinking about, you know, what it had said, and I was like, okay, this negative thought, where does this come from? And it's like immediately, it just clicked. This is why you think like this. This is where this comes from. And I was like, oh, okay. And it's like, it helps. Like it completely changes the way you think because you, fi you figure out that it's not true, that negativity isn't true, and you figure out where it stems from and it's because of something that happened you know or something that you're used to you know and things like that and I am a very honest person like I will tell you you know the truth honestly like whatever it is I'll be honest with myself I'll be, I don't care if it's bad if it gets me in trouble you know, whatever. I'm a very honest person. I think that cowards lie. You know, like I just, I was raised that you tell the truth and that's, I don't know, it stuck. But, I was honest immediately with myself of what's really going on, where this negativity comes from, you know, seeing my flaws and my issues and realizing this is where it comes from you know I need to fix this and that's the thing you know where they say the first step is admitting you have a problem that's the thing is so many of us we will run around and we will just not be honest with ourselves you know we will find um, like we're just fine and we're perfect and there's nothing wrong uh, I've done no wrong there's nothing wrong with me blah 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 you know you have to be honest with yourself how do you expect to get better to better yourself and to grow if you will not admit that there is a problem there's something that needs to be fixed or changed it's simple we make it hard and just with that little bit that I did and I experienced yesterday with myself of you know actually doing some self-evaluation and I really encourage that you do this um, but doing some self-evaluation and immediately you know this is why I have this sort of thought this is where this comes from it completely changed my perception. It completely, it was like I won that little battle of that negativity. It's like I beat that because I understood it. And just like if you are, you have a vehicle and there's something wrong with it, it's doing something, you can fix things when you understand how they work. Okay, like taking the components of an engine. You know, if you understand the way that it works, how each part works, you can understand, you can diagnose whatever it's doing, whatever the problem is, the troubleshooting that you're doing, troubleshoot it, and then you can say, well, oh, this does that, so therefore it could be this. You know, understanding how things work really helps. Like, really helps. So, that's my thinking for today. The whole start of it was distorting. That word distorting, it's like, boom. Because if you are thinking negatively, you're letting fear and doubt control you, you're not seeing reality. Things are not at all as bad as you think they are. Like, you are the one who is making yourself upset, yourself unhappy. You are your main person. You are your most important 
opinion, self-motivator, it's up to you. It has to begin with you. So I hope that helps. I hope it helps somebody. It's really helped me. And I want to encourage you, um, if you're a reader, definitely get a copy of The Power of Pause and Thinking. Because I've only read the first chapter and wow. Like, my way of thinking in my life has changed just with one chapter. So, I hope that you um, grab that. It's actually, you know, if people are recommending it, there's a reason. And I'm by far not the first person to recommend it. I'm just tickled that I heard somebody recommend it, found it, tried it. Um, so, definitely try that out. And even if you're not a reader, I'm sure you can find it. Maybe on YouTube, uh, maybe on audiobooks or something like that. You know, maybe try to find it that way. I know some people, they don't read at all. I encourage you to read, though. It uh, definitely expands your mind. But I'm a book lover, so. Love you guys. Hope you have a great day. I'll be praying for you. Please be praying for me. Hope everybody is being blessed, enjoying life. I hope that you're happy. Just, uh, Please be praying for me. Like, comment, share, subscribe, whatever you feel like doing.